Hi, I'm Underbelly, and you suck at producing. Now, you may have noticed I've been absent from the YouTubes for quite some time now. This is because for the past six months, I've been locked up in Uncle Joe's salami cellar. Apparently, he wasn't too happy with what I was saying about him on the internet, and decided to lock me up and let me die in captivity. Fortunately, I was able to survive by eating one of Uncle Joe's salami sticks every three days and drinking the piss water that would fall through the ceiling. After some time, I was able to escape, but unfortunately, the bottom half of my body rotted off in the cellar. No matter, I only need the top half. Okay, so I see that even after all this time, you guys still suck at producing. It's okay. I'm back and I'm here to help. Today, we're going to learn about side chaining. Let's get started. Okay, so check it. Side chain compression is an audio technique that creates a sort of breathing effect in the music. Let's listen to a couple shit songs and pay attention to what happens when the kick drum hits in each shit song. Uh. Up. All right, let's try this one. Okay. All right, so check it. You'll notice that when the kick drum hits in each song, the rest of the song, all the instruments get kind of quiet as if they're ducking away at the awesome power of the kick. And that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get rid of these shit songs over here and let's check out our live set. We got some drums going on. Okay. And then we have the synth. Let's play them together. Okay, wowzers, that's pretty swagging. But here's the situation. We want to use some side chaining here to give it some nice flurm of Durza type sound. So let's go ahead and add a compressor onto the synth track. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna route the kick drum into the compressor here so that it affects the sound of the synth so that whenever the kick drum hits the synth is going to get a little quieter okay so check you'll notice that on the compressor here there's an upside down triangle let's go ahead and click on that and wowzers we have here the side chain panel let's go ahead and highlight side chain and we're going to get the audio from our drum track so let's get it go ahead and click that and let's play the song, and as we're playing, I'm gonna lower the threshold on this compressor right here, so that as it gets lower and lower, there's gonna be more gain reduction happening. And the more gain reduction, the more this synth is gonna duck out of the way uh, of the drums. So let's, let's hear that. Oh! What the? Beep, beep, beep. Wowzers. Okay, all right. Okay, so check it. You guys just side chained your first sound. Go ahead and give yourself a tap on the wrist. You're doing great. But here's the situation though. Um, there's side chain compression happening when both the kick and the snare are hitting. So let's let's go ahead and listen again and verify that. Okay, so that's cool, but the thing is we want it so that only the kick creates the side chain action. We want to uh, show us the awesome power of the kick and not the snare. So to do that, let's go ahead and enable this EQ thing right here, and we're going to make it a low-pass filter so that only the lower frequencies from this track are going to hit the compressor so that only the kick is going to create that side chain action. Let's listen again. Ooh. All right. So 
now only the kick is coming in and beating up that synth. All right, check it. Okay, so check it. Today we learned about side chaining, bringing you one step closer to being flirm. However, it's entirely possible that even after this informative lesson, you still suck at producing. That's why I'm offering private one-on-one -on -one lessons over Skype to help take you and your beats to the next level. If you're interested, please email me at djunderbelly at gmail.com. I'm Underbelly, signing off.